out grabbing some tacos from Taco Bar, this black owned restaurant, like in sort of like the, it's almost near West Hollywood. It's on the west side of, west side of town in LA. But I just needed vitamin D to get some sun on my skin. I needed to break away from those words. I love editing books. I love polishing words. But every so often, I gotta take a break. So I'm here taking a break, getting some tacos. Enjoy your day, whatever day it is when you're watching this. Ooh wee, look at this taco. I have one shredded chicken and one ground turkey and then I have a side of fries. Mmm, come on taco bar. Oh, you may be my new favorite taco spot. And that's saying a lot because I am a Los Angeles native, I'm an Angelino. So of course I love tacos and I consider myself a taco connoisseur. But let's see how it tastes. I know it's gonna taste great actually. I'm just excited that um, I'm having tacos on a Saturday to living right in LA. Now this, this is one of the reasons why it's hard for me to move from this city. Los Angeles, you do tacos well. At the post office about to send off books. Thank you guys for buying and supporting the How to Write Your First Book workbooks, or workbook. I hope that it helps you organize and package your expertise and your ideas into a book. And I'm looking forward to reading your books either at the end of this year or early next year. Come on, authors. Congrats. Here we go. Mm, let's put it on top of here so it won't get dirty. Guys, very grateful for sending off five books today. So, one, two, three, four, five, five, five. This doesn't get old. Um, I am currently at LA Live, headed to the Novo to see Jonathan McReynolds and Molly Music, Johnny and Molly, Johnny and Molly, however you pronounce it. I pronounce it Molly. But, um, Whew, it's been a week. Me trying to roll out this coaching program and still balance my book editing clients. Um, and there was, you know, dealing with learning lessons and lessons that have to be learned in business, um, politics and invoicing and things like that. It just, this week was rough. So hopefully I can find a little reprieve in tonight's concert. I'm ready to just let loose, enjoy some music enjoy some worship but man business is tough sometimes editing words and being at the computer for hours on end okay fine i'll stop talking somebody say thank you jesus Ready for Johnny and Molly to come out right now. Because of what? Because love. It's gonna be a what? What you tell me? Get the what? Victory! Everybody clap your hands. I know it was a blood. I know it was. A, I know it. Everybody clap your hands. them individually individually yeah. I was already a fan of both of these yeah. guys and when I heard they were coming together to do a super right. group right. I was like yo that is like a double portion right, right. there I need to be in the building I need to come and receive what I need to receive so without further ado they need no introduction right. please put your hands together for Molly Music, Jonathan McReynolds, also known as Johnny and Molly, Molly. make some noise!
that boy. And it's the city of what? What's good, LA? Let's go and do the thing then. Hey, turn my mic up in the house. Hey, run that. What's good? Wow, I ain't even see y'all. Is anybody in here blessed? But even since my you, Jesus, you've been there for me. Sometimes I was hungry, you put food in my mouth, oh God. I didn't know how I'd make it to the next day, and you extended my strength. Oh, Jesus, thank you for your land. That's all falsetto, come on. That's all that falsetto. False in the Greek means not full. Yeah, they won't shika uh uh. See, you want to walk in the front, stay in the back, and watch the man of God minister. You take your shoes off, there's no reverence for the stage. That middle's a little messed up. I don't know how you figure that middle part out. That's good. I want you to watch. Now listen. Shh. Very quietly, very quietly. Shh. Shh. That was almost there, Johnny Mac. Now this is the Johnny Mally Kev show, and I, it's really the Kev Johnny Mally show now. Excuse me. Just move this to the side. Now listen, Jonathan, I've been knowing him for a long time when he was at a Holiday Inn. He didn't have all these people behind him, but his heart was pure. Hey, I wish. Now people tune his guitars for him. Oh, I don't tune my own guitars. They tune them for me. He, the, the heart of the worshiper is there, but the work is gone. Hey, and it will shoot. He don't want to work no more, Mousky. He don't even put his shoes on himself. That's why they're off. The shoe person said, I, I can't be there on time. Well, I guess I got no shoes then. See, my shoes are on because I tire myself. Shh, watch this. Now, when he was a young worshiper, before the Kirk Franklin and before his hair grew out on the top, he used to be honest with his worship background singers. Do you remember when he was honest? There was a song called No Gray. He used to sing it. Y'all remember No Gray? Oh, but I get a little Grammy, I forget where I came from. But see, there's a lot of women out there that mainly came so he could choose them. His name is Boaz McReynolds because he's out here searching all the single ladies. All the single ladies. What happened to worship? What happened? What happened? Where was the worship? You saw it, John, because you were sitting there. She said, hey, now, if he's picking, I want to be chose. Got the vaccine and everything. Said, I ain't gonna get it. Oh, Johnny Mack said, I got the garden. Now, singers, do y'all remember No Gray? I know he hadn't sang all y'all got. Y'all know it? Y'all now show you when you had the heart of a pure worshiper and you wasn't false. Come on, y'all, sing it if you know it. Sing it if you lived it. Sing it if it was.
was you this morning and you apologize to God. Thursday guys I feel so much better look where I am can you see the CVS in the background I'm at my favorite Los Angeles hotspot the Grove maybe that's why I feel better maybe it's because yesterday I just really worshiped at the concert left it all there I don't know what it is um, but we bless God because I feel good I had a I had a better day emotionally today so I feel like I can go back at it and really really knock out the rest of the work week speaking of tomorrow and Saturday are gonna be my knockout days. I'm gonna spend some time making sure I got, making sure I have the curriculum together for my coaching program. So this is gonna be my last event of the week. I'm at the Grove for Yvonne Orgy's uh, book signing for her book, Bamboozled by Jesus. I don't have the book with me because I just found out about it when I was at work. I'm literally coming from work here. I have on my work clothes. I, I mean, I look, I don't look my best, but I feel great. So I'm here to support and possibly um, do some networking and just enjoy the Grove. I don't need an, I don't need a reason to come here, honestly. The fact that she was here was like, oh great, I get to go to the Grove. And I get to go to Barnes & Noble on top of that. So I'm just having a really good day today. So I hope you guys are doing well out there whenever you see this. Happy, happy week, happy day. Be blessed, y'all. church just give it call and respond god is good all the time yeah. hallelujah good to see you all saints in the building today yes all right so yvonne are what we up? ready to hop in we are ready okay are so ready 